The jury came to a verdict on September 6th, but it appears that the defense will be requesting for a mistrial or a judgment of acquittal for Emmanuel Rezalap and Jordan Ratchelap. Rezalap was found guilty of aggravated assault, two counts of terrorizing, and two counts of criminal mischief, all with the special allegations attached, as well as a family violence charge as a misdemeanor. He was found not guilty of attempted murder, but the jury could not come to a decision on the aggravated assault as a second degree felony charge, leaving the jury deadlocked 11 to 1. Um, well, there's already going to be uh, a hung jury slash mistrial for one charge based on the one they didn't come back uh, with a verdict on. Uh, so that's already kind of a mistrial on that one charge. They're asking for it to be a uh, mistrial for other charges. Um, and we're going to brief that in writing. I don't know what the premise is for their motion yet because uh, I haven't seen the briefs. But, uh, you know, we expect to be successful on defending that. While Prosecutor Sean Brown is confident in his ability to defend the case, it appears that an issue with the jury has left the case in limbo. We're going to file motions. Uh, both defendants are going to file motions. Okay, what kind of motions are you guys going to file? Um, well, usually acquittal and then mistrial, um, potentially mistrial. I mean, we're still researching it. Attorney Gloria Rudolph represents Jordan Rauchlap, who was convicted of two counts of criminal mischief and two counts of terrorizing, both with the special allegation. Prosecutor Brown indicated that Rauchlap is jumping on the bandwagon. His case is done uh, for now. Okay. Uh, he will be sentenced based on what's already happened. So Ms. Rudolph's motions will be basically applying um, what happened to Emmanuel's case to her clients. But what has prompted the possibility of a mistrial? But the uh, mistrial has nothing to do with anything with the jury, does it? Yeah. It does? Oh, yeah. Okay. Any impropriety on the jury's part? Well, I wouldn't say impropriety. I thought they were a pretty good jury. Okay. But okay. There's a, there was an issue that we're going to explore. And the issue at hand is whether or not the jury followed instructions of the judge. But what does this mean for the convictions that were handed down last Friday? It doesn't really affect the case, but I'll, I'll tell you this, is that um, there was a hung jury on one charge, so Mr. Brown has some options of what he wants to do. Um, because there's a hung jury, there might might be a mistrial of the whole, uh, the whole thing, but I'm not too sure what we're going to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's a hard one to, to answer. As for the sentencing, which is set for December or January, all attorneys were in agreement that if the judge grants the motions, there will be a new trial and no sentencing. Although the case is in limbo, Superior Court Judge Vernon Perez has ordered a pre-sentence investigation report to be conducted in preparation for this sentencing. Sentencing will be contingent on how Judge Perez rules on the motions. The motion hearing is set for September 19th.